This video will show up for you when you are about to enter your higher self. And the reason that I need to share this with you is because you're pretty much ready. The only thing that may be holding you back is your own doubt about if you are capable of, if you can, if you are good enough. That's the only thing that will hold you back. But otherwise, you've done so much work. You've grown spiritually through the challenges that you've gone through, the pain that you have seen, the work that you have done throughout your life. You're pretty much ready into a space where you embody your higher self. And if you are that person who's holding themselves back because of the doubt and the deep-seated fear of aligning and embodying your higher self, then this is why you need to hear this. The reason that I need to tell you this is because you do not need to fear or doubt your abilities and your capabilities. If you have done work on yourself, if you have gone through hardship, if you have been on this journey of change and self-discovery and transformation, then you are ready to take the step, to take that leap of faith, to take that step towards who you are. And if you keep listening to others, people, what they have told you in the past, if they have said that you are not good enough, that you are not capable, there's something wrong with you, there's a defect, then that is not the truth. Because you wouldn't have gone through everything that you've gone through came as your shiniest self and seen the truth and been on this spiritual journey and, and path, if you were truly not that gem that needed that friction to shine. And the brightest gem go through the most friction in life. So if you have gone through a lot of friction, through life challenges, trauma, pain, difficulties, then you are the brightest gem. You only went through so you can be carved in the most beautiful, shiniest gem for you to become who you meant to so that you can embody your higher self, so you can embody your true essence, your true self, your spirit craving that, your spirit wants that. And you've gone through this journey to really learn about who you are. And now you have pretty much good idea who you are and you are on this path of spirituality and self-growth and emotional growth. It's about now shedding yourself to be aligned with who you are. It's about shedding all those beliefs that other people have given you to make you feel that you are less than. The only reason they may have been doing that is because either they didn't feel good enough or they wanted to control you in a some way. So because of their own insecurities, they wanted to shape you in a certain way. But that's why you've gone through on this journey to learn how to have boundaries, to learn how to not take what other people say as the highest truth. To understand that everybody comes from their own perspective, it cannot be the highest truth. If people are condemning or doubting or making you feel less, then they might be feeling about themselves like that and they feel insecure about themselves. So they are projecting for you to perceive, but you may have taken that as the truth about you, which it isn't. And this is why I want to share this, that it isn't the truth, your highest truth. It is their truth, their perspective, their projection. And when we crave love from a place of neediness, place of trauma, place of pain, then we open ourselves to all these things, energies that are not aligned with our soul, that are not the highest truth, that are going to push us even in the more negative paradigm because we are just portraying and projecting that energy. I really need love and I crave love and I will accept anything. So when we, when we are in that energy, we attract a lot of toxicity. We attract a lot of negativity. We attract a lot of people who drain us, who tell us things that are not true because they are not empowered. They are not secure. They are not confident because they are on their own journey. They are just projecting. 
And because you may have been vulnerable to all of that, you've taken all of that info as the truth of you. And I am reminding you, it's not your truth. It is not your truth. The highest truth is that you are loved and abundant and cherished. So being that cherished version of yourself and being that energy that is ready to accept whilst having the boundaries and not creating the barriers. Let me tell you, there's a difference between barriers and boundaries. Barriers constrain us. We have put barriers to protect, constrain, because we are scared. The energy of fear comes up when we are putting barriers. Boundaries, they are to have that unconditional love and feel that energy of love, expand in love, but also having that discernment and awareness that I am not going to allow anyone to disrespect, devalue. It is elevated version of you that nobody will even feel to disrespect you or devalue you or make you feel unworthy or make you feel you're not good enough because your boundaries are so high that expanded in love that they could not do that. They would not feel the energy to do that. And because everything that happens, this certain part of us is open to that. And that's why we experience what we experience, because there's certain part of our own being is open to that space because of our own environment, childhood, the society, the collective conditioning. We, are, we open ourselves to those pain. But when we have boundaries of unconditional love, and love and understand that we are we, we are love, then we don't have to protect and constrain and have that fear, oh my God, I'm going to be hurt, so I have to constrain myself, hide myself, so nobody see me, nobody, nobody hear me, I can just be hiding. But that's not expanding, that's constraining. So this is the difference between boundaries and barriers, that we don't want to have barriers we have want to have boundaries that are so high in unconditional love that people cannot even think because you're coming from a space of so much love. And if people are, in a certain way, are being mean or horrible or unkind, you are unaffected because you are not receptive to the, their truth. You understand it's their, their issue. You have this kind of boundary that, Okay, that's your stuff. I don't have to deal with that. So you have to have that detachment, discernment and awareness that so that you're not affected. People can come up with all sorts of stuff. You don't have to be affected by that. Once you have that, you are able to step into your power of your higher self, of that version that is aligned, loved, respected and that is moving in life with that awareness with that detachment with that love that you gain your power you have the resilience you step into doing things that really drive you motivate you make you feel excited living in your highest excitement that's what higher self is living in that moment by moment in your highest excitement and when you are aligned with that consistently, then you are just exuding fun, love, peace, abundance, because you are detached from the outside. You are more connected with your spirit, your soul, your higher self, God, and that's all in alignment and you're all connected. And that's a beautiful feeling to be able to experience and witness. So. That's what I want you to know, that you are ready to step into your higher self, releasing any feeling of not good enough doubts because that's not your truth. That's not your story. You are buying into other people's belief and you are taking that as the truth. So releasing yourself from that, stepping into your power and doing things that give you your highest excitement. I hope this video has given you what you really needed. And if you want to work directly with me, release yourself from those doubts, fear, trauma or barriers that you have to put yourself in. If you want to 
heal that, release that, then do check out the link below. Other than that, like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and may the light in me reaches the light in you.